my name is Jill Holden, I work for the Environment Agency. I've been working um, on this climate action project for the last 12 months and within that project we have a flood resilience project aimed at trying to provide food products to members of the public and residents um, within the pilot area of Lower Kersal and Lower Broughton. We've been trying to engage with them um, through various means of meetings, uh, fun days that we've had, uh, film shows, to try and encourage them to come together as a, as a unit, as, as maybe with their neighbours, it might be two or three houses, it could be ten properties, it doesn't matter. But what we want to do is for them to understand the risk and to actually be able to act on it if they were to receive a flood warning. So if their neighbours were at work or they're on holiday, that if they'd taken up these, um, these, these products, that they could put them in place for them if they weren't there. So that um, you know, if one neighbour had done it and the other hadn't, obviously the waters would get into their property through the neighbour that hadn't. So we've been trying to do that now. We, we're just starting works on some of the properties in the area uh, along Littleton Road. We've got about nine properties um, with residents who are interested in this project and we're hoping that this will then snowball when people see the works being done and they can see the uh, benefits from doing this that they might then be interested for future, um, future products that we can provide to them. Yeah. So was there, a, did you say, tell me about the film? That was we shown. did um, a film show and it was not just for the flooding aspects, it was also for the whole of the Climate Action Project and it was called The Age of Stupid and it's a film that's on general release and it's just showing you really that if we do nothing, what could happen in the next 40 years and onwards, um, you know, the oil's going to run out, um, you know, the planet's basically going to go into into ruin really so we're just looking at ways of maintaining what we've got now and then building on that to try and eventually reduce the co2 that we're throwing out improve on our recycling um, and make people aware that climate change is happening and that we have to live with that and we have to adapt where we can um, to live with it so this is why we've introduced some of these food products Defences are already in place, but we can't stop flooding. We can try and reduce the impact, um, and this just gives people more time to put a plan into place if the flooding were to happen. Is flooding your main project? Have you got any other projects? Um, it is my main project. I project manage on the um, flood resilience side of it, but there are other projects within the climate action that's happening as well. We've got some greening projects, we're looking at transport, um, obviously the usual recycling, waste issues as well. Um, and we're also working with the schools quite uh, closely as well. Uh, I've been working with the youth group um, in the area as well. Uh, they've been doing some filming and been looking at their thoughts on, on climate change. What areas do you cover? Is it mainly Salford? The, the area that we this pilot's for um, has been just for Salford. It's been Lower Kersal, uh, mainly the Littleton Road area and parts of Spike Island as well. Um, there's about 900 properties altogether and obviously the findings from this project will influence what might happen in the future in the area. Uh, we're also looking as well to influence where possible policy um, and you know the higher hierarchy and um, things that are going on at government. Um, so we're doing what we can both at a resident level and hopefully at a higher level as well.